Some people are born with extraordinary size, strength, speed, and talent. But without determination, that talent never flourishes. Because determination is what turns average men and women into winners. It should take you years to get out of debt, years to accomplish your dream. In the natural, that's true. But when you come into one of these destiny moments, it's going to happen in a fraction of the time. It's got to happen. It's got to happen this year. It's got to happen this year. I can't have another year of chaos. I got to get the breakthrough this year. I got to change the culture. I have to change the circumstance. I can't think the funk another year. I got to see some movement in my life. If I got a witness in the house, show some sign. This is my year to bring about transformative substance, life changing change. If you could look back throughout the years, what you would discover is that mark by mark, you have been maturing. You have been growing. It's just been gradual. It's just been little by little. I know you're not where you want to be yet, but baby, you have come a long way. You're growing gradually. I'm growing gradually. It's, it's, it's little by little. I love the quote by J.R. Tolkien. He's the one who wrote The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, and he says, little by little, one travels far. No one is born a world champion, just like no one is born a brain surgeon. The successful do what they must, what they can to be the best, to be number one. For me, it was a, a five mile run at 5 a.m. in the morning, for you. Maybe continue to be the leader in payroll and human resource industry. And these may be somewhat of a painful sacrifice, but it is this type of determination that just happens to build tremendous confidence. Confidence in knowing that most likely your competitors are not doing the same sacrifices. Determination gives you that, it gives you that mental edge. The secret to change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old, but building the new you. Put all your energy, not fighting the old, but building the new you. So what is it that you have to do in order to do that? Number one, self-awareness. See, at the end of the day, all of us are the same. The only thing that separates us are the choices we make, the habits that we embrace. And I realized you've got to sacrifice who you've been in 2020. You've got to sacrifice whoever that person was. You, you got to let it go. You got to sacrifice that and, and put all of your time and energy on building the new you. And building the new you in my particular case is more discipline. In my particular case, monitoring myself and my progress, staying on top of it, watching, am I doing well? Am I moving in the direction where I want to move? To, to give up the things that will distract me from, from doing that, to make the sacrifice of some things that I enjoy doing, but I, I can't afford to do it because it's soaking up time and time is life. Time is life. Learn to work with the people who deserve it, not the people who need it. You must be like life itself. Respond to deserve, not to need. It doesn't say if you need, you will have a harvest. It doesn't say if you need a harvest, you'll have a harvest. It's not what it says. It says if you plant, chances are good you'll have a harvest. If you plant, you will reap. Not if you need, you will reap. So we must be like life itself, respond to the people who deserve it by planting, by taking the first step. Even God himself says, if you move toward me, I'll move toward you. That's the condition. You move toward me, I'll move toward you, says the Almighty. When babies are born, they were not designed just to be carried. Babies were not born to be carried all their life. Someday you've got to try your legs. Someday you've got to try your wings, someday you've got to try. Even if you fall down, you've got to try because you can't just crawl around all your life. You can't be carried all your life.
These are chaotic times. These are chaotic times. Unpredictable, uncertain times. These are the kinds of times that all of our establishments and institutions are going through metamorphosis and we're not sure where they're going. I like to be the man I never was, that I never became. Well, every time I speak, I, I see this as such a sacred opportunity. And I'm so happy. Sometimes I think I'm dreaming because when I look back on my life and this Les Brown that you see was in bondage for so many years, didn't come out till late in my life. I had him under arrest. I was in bondage with fear. I wanted to do what I'm doing. And I thought about things I wanted to accomplish and I held myself back because I was afraid to fail. I was afraid to make mistakes. I, I, I was afraid that I would embarrass myself. I was intimidated by people who had college degrees because I didn't have a college degree. And so I would think about the things I wanted to do and then I would start thinking about the fact, Les, you can't do that. So that's what I told this guy in me. Les, you can't do that. You don't have a college education. Les, I hear what you're saying, but come on, be logical, be practical. Oh yes, I know people told you you have a, a gift for gab and you have a nice personality and, and you're funny and you make people feel good and you make them laugh, but you become a speaker, speak for corporations, train and teach people and motivate people to do something you've never done. You're not rich, you're not successful, you don't have any books, you don't have the resources, you don't know the people, you don't have the contacts. You, you can do that, Les Brown. See, my heart said I can do that. And then I made a critical mistake. I asked how the mind became operative. The mind came up front and said, Les Brown, I heard what your heart said, but I want to ask you, how will you do that? And so I went from my heart to my mind, and I tried to figure it out. You're watching, and you're so frustrated because you're looking around left and right, and you're comparing your today to somebody else's, and you're going, but they're growing, and they're flourishing. I don't know if that's really the case. I just wonder if every time you check in on them, <laughs> All you're seeing is the marks on the pantry door. That you weren't there for the gradual growth. You weren't there for the little by little. And you're comparing your slow to their fast, and it's leaving you in a place that you are discouraged. It's not knowing what to do. That's not the battle. It's not actually doing it. That's not the battle. It's the moment in between. It's the hesitation. Hesitation is the enemy. And in war, understanding where the enemy is allows you to defeat him. And this is where the enemy of action, the enemy of commitment, the enemy of change, that's where the enemy lies. It lies in the waiting. And all you have to do to win is overcome that moment, the waiting, the hesitation. All you have to do is go, move, take action, get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step into the gym, put down the donut, pick up the kettlebell. Do not hesitate, do not wait, go forward go to war and win every single time. Don't let the darkness fool you. Don't let the liars fool you. Don't let the haters fool you. Don't let the lack of resources fool you. You have already crossed over into a brand new day.
if you're sitting beside somebody that's not hungry, move. Because you can't have no dead weight around you right now. You're ready to go to the next level. You got to be ready to move. That's what's wrong with you now. You're carrying dead bodies. But I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I didn't know I would get this old and still be hungry. But don't let the gray hair fool you. It's gray, but I'm still hungry. I'm a boomer with millennial tendencies. Yeah, all the hungry people make some noise. You have the ability to create and design the kind of life that you want. And in this place where we are right now, things have changed dramatically. And so you have to make a dramatic change in yourself in order to accomplish the things that you want. What does that look like? What is it you have to do? In my case, mine and my battle has been with cancer, fourth stage. That looks like intensifying my efforts and monitoring everything that I eat. It has to be organic. But my state of mind, keeping stress to a minimum, I don't play that. Anything that's unhealthy, anybody that's unhealthy for me, I cut off the relationship. I don't ask them, why did you do that? I cut it off. Why? It's my life. See, I, we got enough to deal with. When you got the coronavirus that has now mutated into another lethal form and easier to spread, that kind of tension and stress by itself is enough. So you, you're not given the luxury of accommodating toxic, negative people in your life if you want to live. And you, you have to put your foot down and say, I don't do drama. Don't come up here with that. I don't do drama. And, and, uh, don't, and you don't have to defend that. See, th there is no duplicate for life. You only get one. And so you want to live it to the fullest. You, you want to have special moments. You want to have peace of mind. 47% of Americans can't get a good night's sleep. And I've been one of them. Bobby, you have to work at it. Pierre is telling you, don't try. I'll keep you safe. I'll save you from embarrassment. I'll save you from pain. You have to understand that fear is only loyal to who you used to be. But if I'm going to break this thing down for you, let me break it down like this. I'm going to tell you what you're really afraid of. You're scared of who you have to become in order to start living. Who do you have to become in order to get back into the water, in order to try? Who do you have to become in order to go back to school and try? Who do you have to become in order to want again? I'm asking you, what is it gonna take for you to explore your potential in a bigger space? All that potential, all that energy in you is being trapped by fear and being restricted to explore a small space. That kind of pressure causes stress and when you're stressed, your world shrinks. All of your energy repurposes itself to focus on your safety on your time, and on whatever else looks like a threat in your environment. That sounds like surviving, not living. You're not a rock, so stop acting so hard and so inflexible about life. Stop using your fear to create rules that limit the scope of what life has to offer. It's easier said than done, I know, particularly when you've accepted fear as a lifestyle. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be this old person who experiences more of what it's like to be a father? Or do you want to experience more of what the world has to offer? Do you want to start living out that dream you've been holding on to for years? Whoever you've decided to be, that's who your fear is fighting. So fight back. Fight back with a new mindset. Fight back with a new set of routines. Fight back with people who are moving the way you're moving, who are moving where you're moving, and who want more of what you want. Make a conscious effort to look at and recruit people in your life that, that you know that have been good to you, that you need to deepen that relationship, that they bring out the best in you, they inspire you, they make you feel good about yourself, y'all have fun together. 
you want to reach out to those people and, and, and schedule some time to see each other virtually each week where you have individual and collective goals that you're working on. When you upgrade your relationships, when you make it a point to consciously get toxic, negative, energy draining people, people who have a propensity for creating drama out of your life. And I'm sure you've had the experience when somebody created a whole lot of problems for you and something happened and when it ended you say whoa I had no idea do something that the future you will say thank you for making that decision thank you for doing that thanking thank you for for taking your life in a new direction that's what you want your future self to say this will not be a new year unless you learn something this year that will have a dramatic impact on your life that you did not know last year that will allow you to take care of yourself that allow you to control your own personal economy that allow you to call your own shots that allow you to have peace of mind 